Hi everyone. In this video, you are going to learn how to calculate the on resistance from VDD to VSS when we go for the CMOS inverter. In the previous video, I have explained you how to calculate the on resistance for the NMOS inverter and for N channel transistor. Okay, on resistance for N channel transistor we have seen, thereby on resistance for the total NMOS inverter between VDD and VSS. Always you are going to calculate, you are going to be asked to calculate the total on resistance from VDD to VSS. In CMOS also you are going to do the same. Uh, suppose, see this is the table already we know, the table consisting of sheet resistance values for different types of layers like metal, diffuse and silicide as table here. Okay, and for N channel transistor this is the value for 5 micrometer technology and for P channel transistor this is the value for 5 micrometer technology and different different technologies are there. So 2 micrometer technology. Technology refers to length of the channel. Technology refers to length of the channel. That means this 5 micrometer, 2 micrometer, 1.2 micrometer are all equal to this L. 5 micrometer, 2 micrometer or it may be 1.2 micrometer. But as we have considered it a square, RS is calculated ohms per square. That means L is equal to W. L is equal to W. That's why in this particular table, especially for this particular table, L is equal to W. <coughs> okay. Now, let us see the calculation of on resistance for any P channel transistor. So, for example, consider, consider a P channel transistor Consider a P-channel transistor with a dimension like this. I already told you length and width of this particular transistor. Length refers to length is nothing but length is for what? Polysilicon and width is for diffusion material. Suppose if you are taking a P plus diffusion like this and on horizontal V and polysilicon vertically I am taking like this. Okay, this representation itself you have to understand which is which type of transistor it is. So this is the poly uh, this is the P plus diffusion. Okay, and this is polysilicon. Now how to say the value of L is to W here? So, this is having some width that is, let us consider 2 micrometer. And it is having some width that is, again, 2 lambda, 2 micrometer. Now, when you are asked to calculate the on resistance of this particular transistor, how to calculate? The standard formula is Z into RS. Z into RS, whether it is a P type or N type, the formula is common. Z into RS. What is the value of Z? Z is equal to L by W. L is equal to 2 lambda, W is equal to 2 lambda. So, no problem. It is simply 1 into RS. 1 into, what is the value of RS? RS is, now we have to consider, let us consider it is for 5 micrometer technology. Okay. The technology is different means RS value is different. Okay. For uh, simplicity, we are going with the 5 micrometer technology. And uh, for 5 micrometer technology in the P channel transistor, see the value for 5 micrometer technology in the P channel transistor, its value is 2.5 into 10 power 4. So 2.5 into 10 power 4 ohms per square. Here it is 1 square. Okay, 1 square. That is equal to 2.5 into 10 power 4 ohms. We can write it as 25 kilo ohms. This is the on resistance for the P channel transistor when we go for 5 micrometer technology. This is first example. In the second example, let us consider a different dimensioned transistor 
where the polysilicon is having eight lambda and let us consider polysilicon is having some six lambda polysilicon is having six lambda and this p plus diffusion is having two lambda p plus diffusion this is the p plus diffusion indication okay now which is l which is l and which is w this is l polysilicon wherever you are having polysilicon horizontally or vertically that refers to the length and this is w okay so l is equal to 6 lambda here and w is equal to 2 lambda that gives the value of z as 3 l by w so 6 lambda by 2 lambda it is equal to 3 now r on is equal to z into rs for 5 micrometer technology 3 into rs value is 2.5 into 10 power 4 that is equal to 75 kilo ohms this is the on resistance of this particular transistor with the 6 lambda length and 2 lambda width okay so this is the way how to calculate the on resistance for the p channel transistor now let us apply the same onto this cmos inverter to calculate the total on resistance between vdd and vss see here between vdd and vss you are going to calculate the total on resistance means on resistance of the p channel transistor plus on resistance of the n channel transistor gives you the total on resistance from vdd to vss <coughs> So, on resistance, on resistance per PMOS transistor, on resistance per PMOS transistor. So, how to calculate the on resistance for PMOS transistor? R on per P, I will write P here in brackets. R on for P channel is equal to Z into RS and another point here for the NMOS inverter there is a minimum <coughs> pull up to pull down ratio we have considered like 4 is to 1 but here we don't have any such criteria here we are taking directly 1 is to 1 in the pull up and as well as 1 is to 1 in the pull down so Z is equal to 1 in both the cases Z is equal to 1 in both for both the transistors. So, simply this is equal to RS. What is the RS value for 5 micrometer technology? See, we are all calculating this at 5 micrometer technology. Okay. So, we are calculating this at 5 micrometer technology. Remember. So, RS is equal to what is the RS value? I think it is 2.5. See, for P channel transistor, for 5 micrometer technology, it is 2.5 into 10 power 4. As z is equal to 1, we can directly take 2.5 into 10 power 4 ohm per, uh, sorry, ohm per square into, already z is nothing but 1 square. So, it is equal to 25 kilo ohms. This is R on per P channel transistor. And similarly, on resistance, on resistance per N MOS transistor or N channel transistor. On resistance per N channel transistor. See how to calculate same. R on is equal to R on for N channel transistor. So R on N is equal to Z into RS. Z into RS. So what is the value of Z? It is 1 by 1. Z is equal to 1 by 1. So it is simply 1 by 1 square into rs so that is equal to 1 square into what is the value of rs rs for 5 micrometer technology for n channel transistor for n channel transistor for 5 micrometer technology it is 10 power 4 ohm per square so it is equal to 10 power 4 ohm per Square. So, square, square, cancel, it gives 10 power 4 ohms. 
otherwise we can write it as R on per n channel is equal to 10 kilo ohms. Therefore, the total on resistance the total on resistance between VDD and VSS is R on in total is equal to R on per P transistor and R on per N transistor. So that is equal to what is the first one? 25 kilo ohms. 25 kilo ohms plus 10 kilo ohms that is equal to 35 kilo ohms. 35 kilo ohms. This is the R on total value for the CMOS inverter in 5 micrometer technology. Clear? So it is very easy just to calculate on resistance of individual transistors and then adding. Okay? In the next video, I will explain about uh, area capacitance and standard unit of capacitance. Okay, thank you.